Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you unit step response of second order system with critically damped system in this video. So here our input will be unit step input. We are deal with to see output of second order system with critically damped case. Critically damped case means here our damping constant zeta that will be equals to 1. So let me show you first standard second order system here so with this standard second order system here our input is r of s and our output is c of s and standard second order system is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now here as i have told you we have unit step input signal right so here as our signal is unit step input this r of s that will be equals to 1 divided by s right and here for the second order system our case is there with critically damped system so for critically damped system zeta is equals to 1 and to have response of second order system we need to have transfer function that is c of s divided by r of s that is equals to this second order system right so transfer function is output transform divided by input transform and that is equals to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square now here we are deal with to see our output that is a response of this system right so to have output here output will be input into this transfer function so let me write it over here first now here our input is 1 by s r of s is equals to 1 by s and zeta is equals to 1 so let us place those values in this so c of s that will be 1 by s into omega n square divided by s square plus now you see zeta is equals to 1 so this will be 2 omega n s plus omega n square now let us try to simplify this further so our output c of s that is equals to 1 by s into omega n square divided by now you see s square plus 2 z 2 omega n s plus omega n square means this is s plus omega n square right now all we need is we need to provide inverse laplace so that we can have this output in terms of time domain but directly we cannot have inverse laplace of this so here we will be applying partial fraction method to have separate terms so that we can have inverse laplace of this so here for partial fraction i'll be considering this term is equals to a divided by s plus b divided by let us say s plus omega n plus c divided by s plus omega n whole square so here our agenda is to identify values of a b and c so to solve this transfer function here all we need to do is this is equals to this so if you take lcm you will be finding omega n square that is equals to a into now you see a divided by s is there so here we need to have s plus omega n square in multiplication with a plus b into now you see divided by s plus omega n is there so here we need to have s into s plus omega n multiplication plus c into now you see divided by s plus omega n square is there so s that we need to multiply it over here with c so this is what the term which we have and by considering values of s we can have values of a b and c so here as if i consider 
s is equals to 0 in that case you see this term and this term that will get 0 so if s is equals to 0 you see omega n square is equals to a into omega n square right so omega n square will get cancelled and we will be having a is equals to 1 now to have other term here you see if you consider s is equals to minus omega n then this term and this term that will get 0 so if you consider s is equals to minus omega n this term and this term will get 0 so c that will be now you see c into minus omega n is equals to omega n square so c is equals to minus omega n that we can say now to have value of b we cannot make other terms 0 but if you simply consider s is equals to omega n we can have a calculation of b so let us consider s is equals to omega n so in that case we have omega n square is equals to a is equals to 1 into omega n plus omega n whole square so this will be 4 omega n square plus b into this is omega n into omega n plus omega n so this will be 2 omega n into omega n so that is 2 omega n square plus c is minus omega n into s is omega n so this is minus omega n square so now we can simplify this to have value of b so you see this is 3 omega n square and if you take that over this side so here it will be omega n square minus 3 omega n square so that will be minus 2 omega n square is equals to 2 omega n square into b so we can say this will get cancelled and b that is equals to minus 1 right so here now we have a b and c values right so we can further simplify this and we can have inverse laplace after that so let me write that first So now we have c of s over here and now we can apply inverse Laplace to this. So let us apply inverse Laplace. So if you apply inverse Laplace here, now this c of s that will be there in time domain c of t and 1 by s inverse Laplace that will be unit step function u of t and then you see minus 1 by s plus omega n is there. So inverse Laplace of this is minus e to the power minus omega n t u of t and then we have omega n into 1 by s plus omega n whole square. So here we will be applying the formula of 1 by s plus a raised to n inverse Laplace will be t to the power n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial into e to the power minus a t u t so as per this here i'm just taking minus omega n outside and you see now here n is equals to 2 so t to the power 2 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 factorial into e to the power minus omega n t u of t right now let us simplify this further so now c of t that is now see u of t that is common from all so 1 minus that i can say and e to the power minus omega nt that is common from this two so e to the power minus omega nt and now in counts 1 plus now you see minus minus plus sign will be over here t to the power minus t to the power 2 minus 1 so that is t into omega n and divide by 2 minus 1 factorial means 1 factorial so that is 1 only so here i need to consider this only into u of t so this is my output response for second order system 
with critically damned case and here as if you want to plot this response then you see here on y axis we have output and here on x axis we have time t output is c of t and if you see our input signal so that is unit step so for unit step here amplitude is 1 and here we have unit step input you see and as if we want to see what is our output then you see output will look like this it will increase exponentially with respect to time so that is how it will increase right so this is our output for critically damped case means zeta is equals to 1 and that is this i hope that you have understood this video if you have any query you just place your queries in comments definitely i'll try to get back to you to sort out all those things which is required to get sorted over here thank you so much for watching this video